This is Mahmoud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SolidWorks. Today we, going, we will going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. Uh, first of all, I, I will start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw this shape. And for drawing this shape, uh, I, uh, first of all, I will draw a center line. And this center line has a distance of 80 unit. Then I will use the offset interest. Then I will offset it to 30 unit. Uh, for you downward and 30 unit upward because the radius is 30 unit then i will use the cap in and cap in here then i will close this shape after that i will extrude boss it to 52 unit from the mid plane and then we can see we have another extrude cut in the top plane and this extrude cut has a rectangular shape that's why i will use another center line here and from the center line i will dimension it to 15 unit from here to here then i will use draw to and then I will draw two offset line and this offset line has a distance of 32 unit so half distance will be 32 unit divided by 2 unit 2 and 32 unit divided by 2 then I will close this shape then I will extrude cut this portion okay let me demonstrate so yeah, first of all uh, again we can see we have, we have two extrude cut cycle here and two extrude cut cycle has a dimension of 10 diameter and this cycle has a distance of 94 unit and both circle has a distance of 32 unit okay so i am selecting the right plane now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line place the center line here and draw a center line of 80 unit okay after that select the offset units now select this line and offset it to 30 unit and now use the bidirectional now use the cap in now use the arc okay now press ok after that select the line tool here and close the line here ok we have gotten this shape so now if we select this my dimension here we can see this radius is 30 unit ok it is ok uh, it is over dimension it so I, I will not dimension it ok now select the trim option and trim this portion now press ok now we are getting the shape now we need to draw two extrude cut cycle for that i'm selecting the circle and placing a circle here and this circle has a dimension of 10 unit okay i have another extrude cut circle here and this circle has a has a dimension of 10 diameter after that select this one dimension tool again and select this line and this circle the distance is 94 unit okay the distance is 94 unit and from this circle and this circle both cycle has a distance of 32 unit okay 32 unit now press ok after that now after that isometric it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss now extrude boss it to 52 unit okay i will extrude boss it from the mid plane to 52 unit from the mid plane now press ok so after that we can see in here we have extrude cut in this upper portion so i so i am going to select the top plane okay now sketch now normal to it now select a center line selecting a center line placing a center line here and drawing a center line like this way okay the center line has been drawn now select the expand dimension tool and from this point to this point this the distance is 15 unit okay dimension it to 15 unit now select the select ok now select the offset entities and offset this center line and we will offset this center line to 32 unit 32 unit divided by 2 ok now cap in select the line option now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to cut now is to cut it to through all both ok now press ok this portion has been done now in the center in in our case you can see we have a circular profile and this circular profile has a dimension of 40 unit and it just it is to it to 80 minus 55 unit then we have another circular profile here and this circular profile has a dimension of 25 unit and it is to boss it uh, 55 unit then we have a chamfer here chamfer of 3 by 45 degree then we have a fillet here and this fillet has a radius of r5 okay so let's draw that now selecting this face now sketch now normal to it now select the circle tool here and place the circle tool at the center and dimension it to 40 unit okay now isometric it for a better view 
now go to features now stood boss now stood boss it to 80 minus 55 unit okay now press okay after that again select this circle now sketch now normal tweet now select the circle tool place the circle tool here now dimension it to 25 diameter now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now stood boss now stood boss it to 55 unit now press ok so this time now it's time for doing the chamfer so i'm selecting the chamfer option from here now chamfer it to 3 unit and 3 unit of 45 degree now select this line line now press ok now again select the fillet option here and the fillet is r5 so i'm selecting to r5 to this edge now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different